Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's John. It's December 25th, 2011. It's Christmas Day and I wanted to make a new video today titled Peak Oil and Complexity. As 2011 draws to a close, the world has once again consumed approximately 30 billion barrels of oil. Now the oil that was obtained or extracted in 2011 was more difficult to get at than the oil extracted in 2010 and the oil we're about to extract for 2012 will be more difficult than 2011. The reason this holds true is that the world hit peak oil in 2005-2006. So it could only be a matter, matter of fact that moving forward indefinitely into the future that getting the energy, getting the oil we need is going to be a ever more complex endeavor. There were two stories in the news that kind of reinforced this point. The first one was the oil spill off the coast of Nigeria. The cause or the responsible party in this spill was Shell. The second oil spill that was in the news was off the coast of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and I believe the company responsible for that one was Chevron. Now, if you take these two significant oil spills, you combine the Deepwater Horizon tragedy, tragedy that occurred last year, you factor in the ongoing debate with the Canadian oil sands project, with the fracking that's been going on in various states throughout the country, and a incident that occurred last year around this time. I don't think a lot of people caught wind of it, but there was a pretty significant leak with the Trans-Canadian Prudhoe Bay pipeline, the one that runs from Prudhoe Bay, Canada, or Alaska, excuse me, to uh, the United States. There was a pretty significant leak that um, they had to shut down the pipeline for a while. And that pipeline is actually experiencing a lot of problems because the flow is uh, decreasing uh, steadily. If you look at all these situations, one can't help but understand that obtaining energy is becoming more and more complex, more and more difficult, more and more energy intensive. And as Joseph Tainer stated, complexity costs and obtaining this oil, obtaining this energy is costing in two, two different ways. The first one is since it's so difficult to get at, it's costing more and more money to get at the oil that we need. So we need bigger rigs, we have to drill deeper, we have to um, process more. All this is um, very money intensive, very energy intensive, and technically difficult. And the other way that getting at this energy is costing us is that it's degrading our environment and causing a lot of difficulty, a lot of suffering for a great number of people and animal species. So unfortunately, the society we have now is a society we're stuck with and there's no possible way to get off of oil cold turkey. So we made this Faustian bargain with the devil. We've enjoyed the benefits for countless decades and as the age of oil draws to a close, we're going to get more and more desperate to obtain the energy we need and as a matter of this desperation, we will degrade the planet even more and we will run up the price even more. So I hope you enjoyed this video.